Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of a clamp multimeter. The brand is Canova. It's the 6016A, sold by a company on Amazon called LFUS. And uh, this is what the unit you know, looks like. And it comes with a thermal sensor that you plug in for temperature and probes and two AAA batteries. Now some of the unique features I'm going to show on this multimeter, but in general, I'm going to discuss it has auto ranging and it's a clamp multimeter. As you can see, you can open it up up to 30 millimeters wide and you can, that'll be the thickness of your conductor and then the conductor will measure AC current through there up to 600 amps. This is an auto ranging multimeter, which is nice. You don't have to worry about setting the uh, range. It'll do it automatically. And of course it does voltage, amp, amps, uh, diode current, uh, continuity, temperature. It will automatically shut off after 15 minutes and it'll measure temperature using this probe. It's got a large LCD display, maximum data hold, Current I mentioned will be up to 600 amps, the jaw up to 30 millimeters wide. In terms of safety, it's double insulated and it conforms to IEC 1012-2-032 and 1EC61013-2-032. One one. It also conforms to category three up to 300 volts. So um, it has also over voltage protection. And as I mentioned, doubly insulated, which is nice. The manual, it doesn't come with, but it comes with a little user guide. And on the listing, there is the manual you can download. You can also scan this with your phone to get the manual because they're trying to go paperless, which is nice. So let's uh, put the batteries in here and then give this thing a try. Now on the back of the unit, to put the batteries in, you can see that there's a uh, Phillips head screw there, and you have to remove that first to get to the battery compartment. So the way the batteries go in, there is a, uh, a plus sign on this tab right here. It's hard to see if the camera's not picking it up, but on that tab there's a plus sign. So I'm going to put this in that way with the positive of the battery going that way. And then I'm going to put this in the other direction so the negative is there. And then this right here is connected so you can have three volts right here. And you place it back into the meter and you push on the batteries and push down and that locks it in place. And let's see if it comes on now. There you go, it's coming on. So before we do that, let's put the cover back on. Okay, now we're ready to test it. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the thermal probe that it comes with, and we're gonna put the black on the common and the positive where it says volts and ohms. And looking at the display, I see on the right here, I see a temperature. Let's go to temperature. And if you look there, it's showing 23 degrees centigrade. And uh, you go to the end of this little probe. You can see I can touch it. And you can see the temperature is rising because of my uh, body heat. And there you have it. Uh, now to go to Fahrenheit, I hit the select button right here. And now it's showing me Fahrenheit temperature. And uh, let me just verify on the display here. So I'm on ohms right now. And the leads are pushed in. And I can touch these leads together. And you can see it goes to zero ohms. There's also, you can hit the select button right there. And then you have continuity so that you can test conduction on materials and wires, pieces of metal. So you can see I've got the screwdriver right here. 
to measure conductivity we're giving you a beep and also along with that beep it's going to give you the resistance number two then you hit that again and the beep goes away and uh, it's in mega ohm setting right now for higher resistance uh, things like for instance I can put it across my hands and you can see it shows it's 8.2 mega ohms so that allows you to measure some higher resistance values now let's put the, let's try a resistor on here and see if it measures the resistor so I have a resistor box right here and it's got different resistor values on there so you see it's showing 15 that's on 15 and I can go to 150 it shows 149 and if I go to the medium range here that shows 10k that's what that is and if I go to the high range that's 150k so it accurately is measuring the resistance on this box so let's test out the DC voltage function I have it on DC voltage right there and I have a uh, 3 4 volt battery right here so I'm going to go across the leads I'm going to put the positive on the red and the negative on the black and you see it says 3.82 volts which is correct so here I have a watt meter and it has 120 volts on it so I have it set to voltage we're going to try and measure voltage on here and you can see the display went to 122.8 so that's the uh, line voltage so I'm going to measure some AC current I've got a uh, heater going plugged in 120 volts and I'm on the 2 amp to 20 amp setting keep in mind that this needs 2 amps to be accurate to start working 2 amps to 20 amps so I've got the conductor right here and I'm going to open it up I'm going to put it right across right in the little jaws right there and you can see it's measuring the AC current right here showing it at 0.96 amps so that's a handy way to measure current when you don't want to have to open up the circuit so what's my overall opinion about the Canova 6016A clamp multimeter this is a handy device to have as I demonstrated it measures resistance conductivity temperature using the probe DC voltage AC voltage and AC current using the clamp it seems to be pretty accurate I showed the resistance measurements also has a range adjustment on here a hold function and a max function also that you could use so I like this product I've, uh, I've got several applications where I need to measure AC current without breaking the connection so I'll give this product a full five-star rating on my channel I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions thanks for watching